Hello Aquarius, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. Let us do your reading between January 23 to 31. This is going to be a general message, so take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. Five credit personal readings, white spells, and premium charge crystals. Reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. All the details are given down below in the description box. I see the messages for you, Aquarius. The sun on rising or Venus sign Aquarius plus cross watchers can watch this read. Going to make new friends i'm seeing new relationships are coming and there are more than one option that are very very interested in you you're going to you know spend a great time getting to know someone maybe it's just one person but there's going to be a deep friendship that you're going to experience i'm seeing there's a lot of um passion physical attraction and desire to get to know each other there's someone that is attracted to you and you are attracted to them. This is a new person. Some of you have just come out of a broken marriage, okay? Or some of you are going through a tough time in your marriage if you're already married. But what I'm seeing is you definitely have these dates coming towards you. But when it comes to marriage and deep commitment, they don't seem to be your perfect match. They don't seem to be fit for you. So either they are not agreeing to it or I'm seeing like there's a possibility that someone is very very attracted towards you that you are attracted to but they might only want friends with benefits so this is also what I'm seeing here please clarify the three of swords it's time for you to just focus on what you want and not focus on what the other person wants. If they don't want what you want, then it's time for you to walk away because what you don't see is a beautiful relationship coming into your life that's going to make you like jump in the excitement. I'm seeing a lot, lot of new friends. I'm seeing a lot of recognition, popularity, and numbers. I'm seeing numbers. Maybe you're into numerology, but what I'm seeing is a lot of money coming in. Okay, so it's time for you to do things that you want to do and to make yourself feel happy so it's time that you're going to you know you're letting go of someone that you had a strong connection with you are relying on this person thinking about their uh, that they will commit to you they will marry you but it didn't happen so you decided to walk away from this person decide to do things that make you happy from within so i feel like now uh, <clears throat> you're moving forward towards your personal happiness and self-love and new relationships are coming. I'm seeing you are soon going to be in a relationship in around like April 2024. That's possible. Okay. See what else. I'm seeing a lot of people are attracted towards you, but none of these options are making you feel like this is the one because none of these options are relying, reliable or that live up to your expectations okay the kind of options that you're looking for two of swords someone's birthday is on 24. yeah so what you're doing right now is just to keep this thought aside and focusing on your um lifestyle i feel like you've started to focus on wanting to be left alone doing things that make you happy you know living your life on your own terms and just focusing on your career that is what your major goal right now is because you're being too confused about your love life you're like whatever leave it i'm gonna focus on my personal growth and happiness please clarify two of cups you could be dealing with a cancer or another Aquarius. But what I'm seeing is you want to be set free right now. What you're seeking is this. What you're seeking is true love. Since you haven't found that kind of a relationship yet, you're ready to wait. But you're in no rush. You're not in a, any kind of desperation right now. Or you're not seeking any kind of, you, you know, um, casual connection. You're seeking something really serious here. 
Oh, wow. You might be attracted to the person that is flirting around and you know deep inside that this person is not fit for you. And you're still were holding feelings for someone like that. I feel like you're finally coming out of that energy and you're ready to meet your soulmate. This is a clear message that you are ready to meet your soulmate. And you both are going to be in love with each other. But there's someone that is coming between you and them. And that is someone that wants to flirt with you. That wants to have a casual connection that is on and off. And that might be interested in you for something short term. Okay. So yes. Uh, you will meet your soulmate. But there is time. So you have to control your you know, senses. You have to be in control of yourself. Nine of Wands. You really need someone to give you a solid advice so that you can take a solid decision because somewhere you're afraid of letting this person go because you think that you might be doing this wrong and you might be misunderstanding them, okay? You want to give them a chance. But the truth is, you know that this is not the person for you, but you're not feeling confident to cut them out of your life. It's difficult for you. So you want someone's help and suggestion to help you disconnect with this person fully because you know that you can't confront this person as they have been cheating on you many many times they've been lying to you but it is just so difficult for you to confront because you're so attracted you are so much in love with this wrong person they could have their birthday on 9 or 18 or this was a recent past situation which is why a lot of blockages happened but now you are ready to meet your person Yes, the emperor. I feel like you were dealing with someone that was too bossy and narcissistic and dominating. And they wanted things to go their way. If you're not ready to accept what they want, they kind of mistreated you. I feel like that also has affected your confidence somewhere. Okay. But whatever it was, your person that you recently left was a karmic. Okay. And you're about to meet your soulmate. The High Priestess, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. You might meet this new person through work, okay? That is why Universe wants you to focus on your uh, life purpose right now. Because somehow you guys will be connected through work. You will be making more efforts at work and you will gain more recognition. But more than that, you're going to gain a lot of money. Keep your secrets to yourself, your planning to yourself. Because you have really good plans for yourself that can take you a long way okay so do proper planning and keep it to yourself your success is something that's inevitable and you will be successful the high priestess please clarify there could be a pisces or aries or cancer interested yeah some of you are planning to you know make money and do something of your own invest in your own new business or some of you are thinking of relocation or going to another place or work all of this you will be doing quietly, okay? You're planning on it, but you haven't made a decision yet. But I'm seeing you might leave your current place of work or you may relocate. For good, obviously. Yes, and from there onwards, you're going to meet your soulmate that's going to bless your heart and heal you from within. You have been running away from love, Deep inside, I feel subconscious. You've become so scared that you've been running away from love and trusting the wrong person. You know, you have been taking a lot of drama from this past person. And now you're like, you're, you want to give up on this. Okay. You just want to be healed. And now you're scared that you can't trust someone once again. But there is someone that's coming in who will win your trust and the one that will heal you. Please clarify the seven of swords and the ten of wands. You could be having a Gemini coming in. Yes. I feel like you at one point of time were overtly thinking about this relationship that didn't work out. And now that it's over, you're moving towards a positive transformation. But the thoughts still come in your mind. You still keep thinking about it on and again. So you need to cut off this thinking, overthinking thing going on with you. Okay. So this new love is really around the corner. They're very close to you. Maybe you've just ended with a Scorpio recently. But stop overthinking. You're, the only problem over here is you want to be loved and pampered like a little child. And because it's not happening, you're overthinking things. Some of you have a child that you're worried about their future. You're worried about their future. Yes, that's possible. Some of you have a tough time with your mother. Yeah. 
Yeah, I told you. It's someone's birthday who wishes on 18. They could be younger than you. I feel it's time that you've decided that you're mature enough to leave the house or leave the place that has been causing you a lot of trouble or leave the workplace that is causing you a lot of trouble. Wherever you're going, you'll feel at home. Some of you are going to visit your own mom if you're living away from them. Eight of Cups. Okay. Yeah, there is a hurt feeling. I feel like you're hurt. You want to discuss your problems with someone. But somewhere I feel like you just feel left alone, disappointed in love. And there's no one to listen to you. Because you're overtly thinking about things. And you're too worried about buying a new house or maybe taking care of your child if you have. Someone at your workplace. Um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Something is about that person. Let me see what that is. King of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Someone at your workplace that's thinking of giving you a promotion or a hike. Okay. This person could be a senior or a boss. I feel they have been, you know, uh, waiting for the right time to give you this opportunity. But you might end up fighting with this person. Okay. Don't do that. Like, don't argue with this person because maybe they might change their mind so there's a possibility of some change at your workplace because of someone that changed their mind but there still is going to be a good probability for you to get you know um the hike or a promotion or whatever help or support that you are expecting from someone okay and that is why i think you're just done with the current place of work you feel disrespected this is what i'm hearing aquarius as if like you deserved a position or a chance or some sort of a appreciation or recognition but you didn't get it so you're looking for another place of work that's also what i'm seeing okay. however you're happy being alone and you really are like i feel there is someone that you're talking to flirtatiously but there's nothing serious going on between you and this person they could be younger Aquarius, please. Let's see. I know I messed up everything. I want to feel that way again. You will hear from the past person really soon. But they will never commit. If you think that things are going to get better. No. Give your relationship a chance. Okay. You're disconnected from this person. You're detached from this person. A past life relationship. This could be the one. The honeymoon. And let your friends help you. And give your relationship a chance. It's really difficult for you to get into a new relationship after what you experienced. For some of you, maybe not now you don't realize it, but when this person comes into your life, your new person, your soulmate, you'll be too afraid of opening up. You're running away, as I told you, you're running away from love. You're running away of the trust that you, you are expected to offer. Your friends are going to be a good guide. Yeah. I feel like there was a lot of love with the past person and because it just didn't work out you feel afraid of you know the new person coming into your life they could be a pisces sagittarius virgo right now i'm confident sagittarius again and then we have the leo okay these are the signs coming in all right <clears throat> please clarify on the new person Yeah, you are afraid to give your heart away once again. That is the fear. Please give me an advice. Advice for Aquarius. Take the offer. Whoever is giving you an opportunity to be in a relationship, accept it. And see how it goes. Body work. Take care of your health. Mental health and physical health will make a lot of changes in how you believe and see things. And will bring you a lot of confidence as well. So... Take good care of your body because you're opening a new door to romance. I'm seeing someone is coming on the same page. 
and you guys will be in a relationship so don't think you won't fall in love again you will what could be the blockage coming between you and this person let me see yes until unless you don't forgive and detach from the past person you won't be able to ready to move on or accept the new person coming into your life this is very important one last piece of advice give it to god if something is out of your control you have to leave it okay don't stress over it don't keep um crying over it banging your head against your wall those who love you okay those you love love you so be, be, give time to those people that are um in love with you that love you that your family your friends whoever it is so your love life is going to get really exciting in the near future you just have to accept that things can happen you have to give it a shot give it a shot this is what i'm hearing again and again give a chance to someone wanting a relationship with you yes let there be closeness okay you might be afraid of opening up your heart once again that's the problem okay now let me see from aries to pisces what does your person think and feel for you three aquarius Aries is definitely very, very attracted towards you. They find you as this, as if you're one and only that they've seen. The Taurus person is attracted to you, like they want to wife you or husband you. They want to marry you. The Gemini is thinking about deep down a commitment with you. Cancer is running away. They're intimidated because they are a liar. And we have the Leo person very attracted towards you, wants to take a step forward with you. Virgo is having confidence issues. They don't see themselves fit for you. Libra is too judgmental about things. They have skepticism. Scorpio. Scorpio is confused. They have other options as well. And they also do not know how you feel. You have to show them. Okay. Sagittarius wants marriage. They want it now. Capricorn. Capricorn is a little intimidated and freaked out by your questioning. Or they think that you don't believe in anyone. This person really needs to change their perception of you. Because they think that you're too, too stiff. Okay. Aquarius wants to propose you, take you out and make you feel good. Pisces is obsessed with your body. Maybe this is the one that wants friends with benefits with you. Okay. Let's see the charms. You could have a Libra coming in, but you're going to build a solid foundation. At work, in love, I'm seeing you're opening new doors to romance. So there's love coming in. Don't be too emotional. I feel you might be going through an emotional turmoil that you're working on right now. Your person may have K-R-A-N-F in S and S in their name or your name. Someone, this is talking about karma. You're going to receive positive karma. This person, I feel like your life is going to change. Some of you are relocating. This is what I'm seeing. Farah could be the name. Caroline could be the name. Someone's from Kansas, Sri Lanka, Canada, France, India, America, Argentina, Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Suzanne, Sassy. These are certain names. Sasha. I'm seeing karma very strongly playing a role in your life. Like it's giving you what you deserve. Sarah could be the name. Most of you people believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah, as long as you're still holding on to the grudge with the past person, you will never feel emotionally healed. This is what I'm saying. So you know you have the key to your happiness and you know how to use it, but you're not using it, some of you. Yes, a solid foundation. I'm seeing a lot of growth. Rachel could be the name. Africa, someone's from there. Singapore. Someone recently came out of a COVID variant. So, so what I'm saying. Yeah, these are the only messages that I'm getting here. Um you could be dealing with a libra go check out libra read aquarius so i'll be doing libra next 
you can check it out yeah, I'm hearing karmic like you're dealing with someone that is karmic for you to get out of this energy because this is too karmic for you okay so that's about it i hope you enjoy this wonderful reading aquarius thank you for your time please do like share comment and subscribe to our enigma bye